problem. They had very low invest. So they hired all these young, happy people out of college, fresh face, enthusiastic, and a year later, most of them had left because there wasn't a clear uh, career ladder. There wasn't uh, any information about how you advance in the company. There was very little investment in these individuals anyway. And so one thing they did was to have a career coach. They hired this person who had been in the company a long time and had basically a, a document developed that says, here how you, is how you can be successful. Here's how we're going to measure you. Here's what we're going to do to train you to get to the next level beyond entry level. Um, here is a person you can talk to one-on-one -on -one to talk about how to be successful. And they went from having a you know huge, like 90% turnover, to dropping that in half. And so that's what you want, right? It's very expensive to hire and onboard people uh, if you can reduce that turnover and have people who are more engaged, then you're going to have a higher uh, output, higher performance. Next slide, please. So uh, this is a picture of uh, so-called Monkey Row in uh, at Zappos headquarters. Uh, this is where uh, CEO Tony Shea has his office uh, in the pit with everybody else. You can see it's fun, it's funky. Um, so an important implication for the neuroscience is that if you have a tri-trust organization which also has a, a clear transcendent purpose, I'll define that in a moment, you'll get joy at work. Uh, so a transcendent purpose is understanding how your organization improves lives, both employees and customers. And again, you may know that, but it's also got to be communicated over and over and over. Uh, I was at uh, LinkedIn last month, and the uh, CEO of LinkedIn, Jeff Weiner, told me, you cannot repeat the purpose statement often enough. It's got to be part of your DNA. Everyone's got to know it. Um, at Zappos, people certainly 